everyone today we are going to know about the salesforce marketing cloud connector for wordpress woocommerce and uh, this extension is used to connect the salesforce marketing cloud with the wordpress woocommerce and here in this video tutorial we are going to cover the installation and the setup of the application and uh, this extension allows and enable you to sync the categories product customers orders from the wordpress woocommerce to the marketing cloud so for the documentation regarding this extension you can uh, go to the webpool store and click on this user guide and for the live demonstration you can click on the live demo button now let us proceed towards uh, the working of this extension so firstly we need to go to the marketing cloud backend here this is my marketing cloud backend panel my marketing cloud org and firstly you need to go to this cloud preferences and here this is the detail of my user account and uh, uh, there are some settings that you need to be done in the marketing cloud uh, backend and uh, first is uh, you need to set the api user to be uh, status to be yes so here you need to uh, set this status to yes as uh, it is already uh, the user is already created so let me show you how we are going to create a user and set this status to yes so for creating a new user you firstly need to go to the here email and go to the admin now click on admin here under the account settings you will find the my users and here by clicking on the my users you will find the list of all the users that have created to this marketing cloud backend here this is a list of already created user so the first thing that you need to do is to create a new user so after creating a new user you need to set the permission of the api user so from here you need to uh, enter these uh, fields for creating a new user you need to enter the name email address and all the details and uh, don't forget to set this api user box you need to check this box in order to complete the settings to the marketing cloud so here after entering this field and uh, you need to check this box and uh, once you have done this you need to click on the save button so in this way you are able to create a new user and after that you need to set the permission of the api user by clicking over here so once you have set uh, saved the settings the new user has been created so that was the view that we have uh, uh seen earlier is the view of the created user so let us go to that view so here this is uh, uh, the details of uh, the user and uh, uh, this is the api user that you need to enable and uh, this is uh, the first setting that you need to do next you need to set some roles you need to set some permission for the role for that purpose you need to go to uh, the role section so here under the account settings uh, after my user this is the role under the role tabs uh, you will find the list of uh, this uh, uh, here, from here uh, from this list you need to check the box to set up uh, the permissions so let us find the permission here this is grant user access to the web services you need to check this box to allow the uh, permission to access so from here this is the second thing that you need to do over the uh, marketing cloud so that's all uh, you need to uh, set up in the marketing cloud now moving to the wordpress woocommerce end so this is my wordpress uh, site and uh, here firstly you need to uh, install the marketing cloud connector so from uh, for that purpose you need to upload the zip file and uh, for that you need to purchase the marketing cloud zip file so from here you will uh, get this extension to integrate the salesforce marketing cloud to the woocommerce so from clicking here uh, you will be redirected to uh, this uh, store webco store and by clicking over the buy now you will uh, get the uh, zip file for this extension now uh, let us uh, go to our wordpress site and uh, first we need to do is uh, install the uh, that uh, 
zip file of our uh, Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So here, firstly, you need to go to plugin and you need to um, install the plugin over here. Click on this add new. And here upload plugin here you need to uh, choose the file you can uh, select the file from your system let me select the file first now click on the install now button to install this extension so after installation the plugin here then uh, is installed uh, to WordPress site now click on this activate plugin and here you can see this uh, the plugin has been installed to our WordPress size and here it is installed to our site after that you need to click on this WooCommerce uh, Salesforce marketing cloud and here you need to firstly configure the settings here this uh, you need to set uh, the username and password of your marketing cloud so here let us uh, enter this field uh, the uh, Salesforce marketing cloud username and password after entering the username and password next is the Salesforce marketing cloud mode and here if you want to put it in send uh, test mode you can click on the send box otherwise you can uh, set the status to live mode and uh, here this is the salesforce marketing cloud subdomain and uh, here you can get the subdomain from your marketing cloud backend panel and uh, also for reference you can uh, click on that link for uh, the reference of the screenshot so here as you can see you need to take the uh, subdomain uh, url from this much only that is indicated in this uh, uh, up to this much only you need, need to take the url of your subdomain and uh, let us see how we uh, take the url from the marketing cloud so here in the marketing cloud let us copy the subdomain url up to this much only and then go to the backend of WordPress site and here you need to enter the subdomain URL. This is the SMFP auto sync. If you want to auto sync, uh, then you can uh, check this uh, status, set this status to yours. This is the subscriber list that you can get uh, for uh, this purpose. First, you need to click on the submit button. Once you have uh, clicked on the submit button, you will find the uh, list of uh, the Salesforce Marketing Cloud subscriber list ID over here. And from here, you will enter the uh, select the list of the subscriber and then click on the submit button. Now, let us proceed towards uh, let uh, this configuration after the configuration is completed. Let us proceed further and uh, uh, we'll proceed towards the uh, synchronization and uh, this one is the categories and here under categories you will find the list of all the categories over here and uh, click on this uh, update category data extension uh, all your uh, categories will get synced and uh, updated to the marketing cloud so here you will uh, able to sync the uh, categories from uh, WooCommerce to the marketing cloud. Let us go to the marketing cloud backend and here firstly we need to go to admin uh, setting part you will find the subscriber and uh, here this is the data extension. So after clicking on the data extension you need to search for the WooCommerce uh, categories uh, data extension and uh, let us uh, search for it and uh, here we will find this WooCommerce category data extension. So after clicking on there, here you will find the records have been completely synced to uh, the marketing cloud. Let us see the record over here. And here you will find the record has been synced successfully from WooCommerce to marketing cloud. Here this is the details of the category that we have synced uh, from our WooCommerce uh, uh, store to marketing cloud. Now, next proceed to the products and here after clicking on the products here we will find a list of all the product available to our WooCommerce store and here clicking on the update uh, products data extension will able to sync the data and uh, products uh, and from the WooCommerce to the marketing cloud so here let us see clicking on the data extension search for uh, 
the product data extension. Now let's search for the WooCommerce uh, product data extension and here clicking on this we will find the record of which is synced from uh, WooCommerce to our marketing cloud here clicking on the record we will find the complete record of all the product uh, from WooCommerce uh, store to marketing cloud here this is the previous uh, product which have been synced from uh, WooCommerce and here this is the list of uh, the product which we have uh, synced which we have updated right now so this is the list of the product which we have uh, updated from WooCommerce to, to marketing cloud now moving towards user so let us see how we will able to sync the user here this is the list of the user and clicking on the update user data extension let us see how we will uh, get the data so here after searching for the WooCommerce user data extension here let's click on this and uh, after clicking we will find the data which we have synced to marketing cloud and here we will find 10 records have been synced over here and let's click on the record tab and here uh, you will find this uh, the list of uh, the users that have been synced from the WooCommerce store to marketing cloud and here and uh, here as uh, you can see this is the uh, list of the, this is uh, the users which we have synced uh, from our store right now now let's proceed further <clears throat> after that click on the orders and here we will find a list of the orders to our store and here clicking on the update order data extension we will uh, update and sync the data to the marketing cloud let's see what happened at the marketing cloud so here let's uh, go to the data extension and again search for the WooCommerce uh, orders data extension let's click on that here you will find the five records and this is the record which we have synced from our WooCommerce store to the marketing cloud and here this is the newly synced uh, record which we have seen right now now next this is the subscriber and uh, by clicking here we will able to sync the list of the subscriber to the marketing cloud here uh, you need to click on this update subscriber data extension to update and sync the data of the subscriber from WooCommerce to the marketing cloud. Let's see at marketing cloud. Here you need to go to the subscriber list. And here you will find the uh, data of all the subscriber to your WooCommerce store. So in this way you can manage the uh, subscriber over uh, to the marketing cloud. So in this way you are uh, able to sync and update the uh, data from WooCommerce, uh, WordPress WooCommerce to the marketing cloud. So in this way you can manage the uh, categories, product, users, order and subscriber and sync these all from WordPress WooCommerce to the marketing cloud. So in this way this uh, extension helps you to sync all these uh, uh, category product users and orders and subscription to the marketing cloud so that's all for this uh, video tutorial thank you so much